hope everyone's having a wonderful Friday. Now let's jump on in into this week's Bulldog Bar. How does it feel to be homecoming queen? Uh, it feels really weird. I was really honored that I got it and I was just really surprised. <laughs> what was going through your head when they called your name? Um, I really don't know. I just know my dad hugged me and so he helped me. <laughs> Did you think you would win? No. <laughs> Why not? I just didn't think I was. <laughs> what will you miss most about high school when you graduate? Um, I'm gonna miss being with all my friends and making all our memories here. So. Well, first off, congrats on winning Homecoming King, Thank and how does it feel to be crowned Homecoming Um, feels good. Did you think you were gonna win? No, I really didn't. What was going through your head when they called your name? Um, surprise, I was surprised, I was excited too. And what is your favorite part about Mason High School, and what will you miss most when you graduate? Probably football. Congratulations, Jordan and Marcos. We're sure y'all will do a great job representing our school. Now let's hear a few words from our Athletes of the Week. The Female Athlete of the Week is Josie Thompson. Josie Thompson has been on the cheer team for three years. She stepped up and worked hard to earn a spot on the competition team. She shows great initiative and is a fantastic team player. How does it feel to be awarded Athlete of the Week? It feels great knowing that like all the work that myself and the cheerleaders put in on a day-to-day -day basis. What do you think are the most important things that make a team successful? The most important things that make a team successful is the ability to work together and just be patient with each other. What are you most proud of as a cheerleader? The thing that I'm most proud of being a cheerleader is being able to represent Dixon High School. So, What is your best achievement so far? My best achievement as like a student would be being nominated for the North Carolina Governor School and as an athlete being a cheerleader for three years. This week's Male Athlete of the Week is Marquez Estrelado. Marquez is a team captain on the football team and plays both sides of the ball. He has 12 total tackles with six of those being solo. He averages one tackle per game. On the offensive side of the play, Marquez has gained 238 all-purpose yards and has scored two touchdowns this season along with catching seven passes. Here's what he had to say. Which would you rather play the most, offense or defense? Offense. Why? Because I like having the ball and making plays. With being a captain, how do you motivate your team when you're down in a game? I try to look for the positives they do and tell them to keep doing them and pick it up. With this being your last year playing at Dixon, did that affect your playing at all this season? Yes, it has motivated me a lot. How does it feel to be this week's Athlete of the Week? It feels good. Congratulations, my cousin Josie, for being chosen Athlete of the Week. And now on to the reveal of our senior superlatives. Congratulations seniors on your superlatives. You guys definitely fit the criteria. Now over to winter sports. 
So Coach Crystal, are you excited for basketball season? Absolutely, best time of the year. <laughs> Do you expect a bigger turnout this year than last year? Um, probably a little bit more. We've got a big freshman class coming in that played middle school ball, so I probably expect 30 plus kids to come out. And last year on your varsity team, you lost seven seniors. So I did. How did that affect your? How is that going to affect your varsity team this year? Well, I'm excited because we just have a new mindset this year. Girls are ready to go and work hard, and we may be young and we may have a few growing pains, but we're going to be fast and we're going to have a good mental outlook going into this season. I think the girls are really pumped to make a big difference this year. Great, thank you. Why are you excited about basketball season? Well, um, this year we have a lot of good seniors coming, re returning from last year's team uh, with Matt and IJ and Gunner, and, and then we also have the two juniors returning also, Casey and Noah. So it should be a good season. What school are you excited about playing? Jones Senior. First game of the year. I'm excited about that one. We'll get that one out of the way and we'll worry about the rest. Think we're going to win? Absolutely. Are you excited about coaching wrestling again? I'm very excited about coaching wrestling. I've missed it greatly for the past 24 months. What's your favorite thing about wrestling? Uh, my favorite thing about wrestling as a sport is that it is an individual sport where there's no one to blame uh, if things don't go well other than yourself. Um, I also find it to be a very enjoyable sport because uh, you legally get to uh, beat up people. Um, and uh, also because the as a coach, there's no um, real determination on my part, playing time and that kind of stuff, because the people who wrestle um, are the people who actually win the, the wrestle-offs in their weight class. So before every match, we have a wrestle-off, and the best person at that weight class gets to wrestle. So it's not really up to me. Are you excited for winter track this year? Yeah, I'm excited for winter track. It's uh, a new sport for me. I've never coached it before, so you know it's going to be challenging, and I'm excited for the challenge. Uh, we had quite a, a turnout at the first meeting, so I think the excitement's here in the school. I'm excited for the kids to have the opportunity to, to run and pursue something that they're passionate about. What made you want to take this position as coach for winter track? Uh, well, one of the main reasons is you know, my daughter's a runner, and I wanted her to have the ability to run this season. Uh, but not just her, all the other kids that I saw running in cross country or last year in, in indoor track and outdoor track, I wanted them to have an avenue to uh, pursue something they're passionate about. And, you know, running is pretty popular here, running and throwing, uh, as well as the jumping events, you know, it's pretty popular here. And I wanted the kids just to be able to have that avenue. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Remember that winter sports tryouts start November 2nd. Now, if you don't have anything to do this Halloween, make sure to check this out. All right, y'all, thanks for watching this week's episode of The Bulldog Bark, and I hope everyone has a safe and happy Halloween this weekend. Don't forget to buy a yearbook. Prices are only $55. After November 20th, the prices will go up.